The Stagecoach Country Music Festival continued at the Empire Polo Club in India on Sunday, April 28. Here's a quick look at some of the notable sets from the last day of the three-day festival, including the Beach Boys, James Kennedy, Pam Tillis and more. The Beach Boys, perhaps the most fun and vibrant performances to close out the Palomino tent at the festival was the all-star performance given by the Beach Boys. Before the set went into full gear there was a video montage that showed some of the band's career highlights and impacts on pop culture including the scene of Adam Sandler shamelessly crying in 51st Dates while singing Wouldn't It Be Nice. As soon as the video ended, it was clear that the crowd was in for a show with actor John Stamos and Sugar Ray frontman Mark McGrath joining Mike Love, the only original member of the band. They couldn't play all of their hits, because let's face it, there are a lot, but the ones they chose did not disappoint fans who danced and sung along to hits Do It Again, Fun, 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 and California Girls. By the end, all of the kids, family and even Lana Del Rey were out on stage dancing and singing to hits such as Barbara, Ann and Kokomo. Dot, Charlie Vargas, Diplo B2B Marshmallow, Despite showcasing his DJ skills at his late night in Palomino set on Saturday night, Diplo didn't hold back at the honky tonk. He teamed up with the multi-platinum DJ and producer Marshmallow for a special B2B set. In a playful gesture halfway through the set, Diplo even added a few strands of tape to a cowboy hat atop Marshmallow's mask well-known white mask, embracing the cowboy theme. The duo's chemistry was evident as they seamlessly transitioned between hits, delivering a solid mix of EDM favorites and country remixes. Holly Alvarado, Pam Tillis. Pam Tillis was part of this year's country acts who found success on the 90s country charts. Tillis and her band carried a stage presence that oozed rock and roll. Her performance included hits such as Mi Vida Loca, Cleopatra, Queen of Denial and When You Walk in the Room. She took a moment to address the fans that made her career possible and the new generation of artists at the forefront of the country scene. There are a lot of young artists here and I wanted to wish them all the luck in the world, Tillis said. I've been out here for 33 years and am so grateful to be able to hang out with all the young kids. Dot. Charlie Vargas, James Kennedy. James Kennedy from the Bravo series Vanderpump Rules has been making a big transition from reality television to DJing and his efforts have been paying off as he earned a spot on Diplo's Honky Tonky lineup. His 40-minute set, filled with electronic music and heavy bass, was a rowdy affair. From start to finish, Kennedy had the packed Honky Tonk stage jumping and dancing. Clearly enjoying himself, Kennedy stage dived off the DJ platform more than a dozen times and even ventured into the crowd to join the rave for a minute or two. Featuring tracks from Kanye West, Empire of the Sun, Backstreet Boys, and DMX, his set delivered everything the crowd needed to get pumped for the day. Holly Alvarado, Megan Maroney, Dazzling, literally, on the main stage on Sunday with her bedazzled microphone, guitar and backdrop, Megan Maroney delivered a set that showcased her vocals and likability. The singer-songwriter, whose song subject mainly consists of love, breakups and everything in between, quipped to the audience, the worse the man, the better the song. No caller ID seemed to be a crowd favorite as friend groups sang the chorus, here you come again, who could it be? It's Freya. M. No caller ID, to each other. Maroney mellowed it out at one point, declaring that, we're about to get very emo cowgirl, before playing 28th of June, a song about the dread that comes when the anniversary of an ex-relationship rolls around. An overhead conversation called the set the best of the entire festival. Dorothy Elder. Clint Black. Following Tillis at the Palomino stage was Clint Black who kept the spirit of the 90s alive. The country star is out on the 35th anniversary show of his debut record, Killin' Time. Black did not disappoint at his stagecoach debut, 
performing the shoes you're wearing and summer's coming with a shimmery American flag patterned electric guitar. In true stagecoach fashion he brought special guests including his daughter Lily Pearl Black for Never Knew Love and Drake Milligan for Killin' Time. The set also included the performance of A Better Man that showed a montage of videos that included some of Black's most prominent career moments and other fun tidbits such as taking shots with Jay Leno on his late night show and a performance duet performance with his wife Lisa Hartman. Charlie Vargas, The War and Treaty when Michael Trotter of the country soul duo The War and Treaty asked, Can we take you to church on Sunday? They delivered just that. The duo delivered a sermon that guided fans through soul, gospel, blues, and showcased Tanya Trotter's electrifying vocal range. A highlight of the performance was their rendition of the Star Spangled Banner, passionately belted out by Tanya, accompanied by the backing band, which included a banjo, pedal steel, and fiddle, as they paid tribute to first responders. Holly Alvarado, Charles Wesley Godwin, by early afternoon set standards, Charles Wesley Godwin's crowd at the Palomino stage on Sunday was massive. Godwin sang and played guitar alongside six band members. The larger band, complete with three guitarists, made for a loud, round sound that hit country and bluegrass genres as the set went on. It was a slow start for the West Virginia-born musician, but when he played all again, the crowd burst with life and sang along. Things picked up throughout the set, full of masterful instrumental breaks filled with banjo and electric guitar solos. Godwin ended his set by bringing out up-and-coming country artists Wyatt Flores and Sam Barber, who joined him for a cover of the Oh So Love Take Me Home, Country Roads. Dot, Dorothy Elder, 